Yeah, g'day viewers. Just thought I'd like to share with you this uh, instrument I've come across. It's a uh, portable uh, watt hour meter standard. And this is the specifications of it. Alright, we'll have a bit of a look at this thing today. So what it's saying here, it's a portable induction test meter. And it looks like it's probably used for testing the accuracy of what our meters use the circus diagram for it. This instrument's made in America. It's made by GE. Here I have the instrument out of the case, and this is a bit of a look at it. And here you can see the load disc. And it has a little armature that rests on the load disc. And the armature is activated uh, when the voltage coil is energised. So here it is here. So that will rest on the load disc to stop it turning. So you can start and stop the instrument as required to take a measurement. You can see the gear train up in here. And the large pointer on the instrument is directly connected to the load disc, so for every revolution of the load disc, the needle will also move. I have not yet connected this instrument to anything, so I shall do so and just see how it works. And I'll just wire it up in series with this old power meter here. I'm using a doorbell to switch the potential coil on. And then I've got the load connected through this variac. And the load I'm using is a bunch of old uh, 100 year old plus light bulbs a couple of carbon filaments and some tantalum wire bulbs here they'll be a very good load for the unit and I've also got it set up in the 5 amp range ok let's just increase the voltage to the lamps OK, I'll run them up to about 180 volts. Check the power meter here. As you can see, the load wheel is spinning away quite nicely. Now we'll go to the test meter. OK, we'll start the meter. Here we go. It 
So this would be used to check the accuracy of any power meter that's being tested. And then when you make your readings, you just stop the meter and and then job done. Anyway, a little safety tip. You know, working with any sort of mains voltage is potentially uh, dangerous, if not lethal. And you don't want to end up like a burnt out fruit bat on a power line. So always think safety and do things properly. So don't want to take any dodgy shortcuts. So there we go. Thank you all for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Oh, hopefully we'll be coming up soon. Catch you next time.